so there was this uh, movie that I watched. Um, it's about this girl, how she uh, newly married. She goes to a new place in Kerala. And uh, she was here, and she was outside Kerala. She lived outside Kerala all, all her life. And then she gets married. She goes to uh, uh, Kerala, and then she starts her life there with her husband. And then the issues that she faced, like, you know, people, the way how they... Um, that movie kind of struck, and I wanted to do roles like that. I wanted to be, uh, you know, that really inspired me. And I'm like, oh, I could have been that. I could have, you know, it was that movie partly was shot in Dubai. So I was like, I really missed acting then. It, it was, I took a break for about a year to concentrate on my career uh, here uh, in Dubai. And then I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? I really miss acting. And uh, yeah, I think that when I saw that movie was when I decided that uh, I have to continue my passion. So uh, growing up, um, Never even imagined that I would be an actress. We used to watch, uh, uh, you know, growing up uh, on Thursday nights uh, on Channel 33, uh, all the Bollywood movies. So that's that, and I never even imagined that I would be an actress. Um, so my parents were like, but they liked um, me to be in cultural. Uh, they, you know, they encouraged me to do extracurricular activities like singing, dancing performing on stage, but that was about it. Like, and then academics was more important. And uh, so I've you know, continued studying, be, became an engineer. And um, then what happened was uh, my friend was getting married. She got married to a uh, um, celebrity's brother <laughs> in Kerala. So I happened to be at the wedding and uh, they, the videographer there, kind of the wedding videographer. So then they kind of captured a moment where I was like telling her to, you know, smile. And you know, when we have Bidai, and like, as in like when the girl leaves her parents and then goes along with her husband. So there she was like, she was, it was an emotional moment. So I was like asking her to smile and they kind of captured that. And it kept playing at the reception high, as highlights. And one of the directors spotted me and he contacted my friend and asked if I was interested in doing a part in his movie. So that's how, that was my entry in uh, the world of cinema. <laughs> my first job was in Emirates, um, in uh, cabin crew recruitment. And, uh, and I just, you know, I picked up from there and cons I thought I would just be an airline professional for the rest of my life and just keep growing there, that's my career. But, I knew something was missing. I just knew, you know, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed my job. I loved it. Um, you know, I kept moving uh, in different airline industries. I resigned re recently from uh, uh, Fly Dubai, as you know, and uh, to concentrate in uh, my movie career. But yeah, I just knew something was missing. And um, so I did my first movie, um, uh, like I just, took the plunge, my friends, my family, they just said that you should do it. Um, go do this movie, You'll mm, nobody stopped me or anything. Like they all said, yeah, yeah, do it, it's fine. So then my second movie came with one of uh, India's uh, very prestigious, uh, like especially in South of India, uh, very prestigious director, Jitu Joseph. So he and Prithvi Raj was doing the lead of that movie again an amazing Malayalam actor, lead actor. So that was my second movie offer. I couldn't say no, I was playing the lead actress. Um, so that gave me the confidence, like, okay, there is something that, you know, there is something that I can do. I just, I was not scared in front of the camera or, you know, that initial, I thought I would be, but I kind of surprised myself. Um, and um, going forward then, you know, that was a learning curve for me because that was a challenging role that I did uh, because I had to have emotions like uh, anger, sadness, uh, you know, happiness, uh, everything. Like, and it was not easy and I just didn't know how to do it. And, but I somehow managed <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that happened. And then each and every movie that I did afterwards, like even if it's a small part, I kept in touch 
you know, three days leave, four days leave, taking uh, leave from my job and then going and doing this. It wasn't easy, uh, you know, balancing everything, your family life, your career, and your passion wasn't easy. Uh, but then that was my true calling. So uh, after each and every movie, I just kept getting confident. And then now, eight movies later, <laughs> I am. I know that I've just taken the right decision, and I just need to do this full time. Acting is not a part time job. Uh, you know, being an actor, if that is your passion and that is your true calling, that is a full time job. It needs your, in, you know, all your time and energy. So uh, my role models and see, I have a lot of support. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be able to be here without my friends, without my family, um, and you know, my peers from, even from my workplace, uh, my previous workplace, I wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't be able to take this step. Uh, so, uh, like, my mom is a true inspiration for me. Like, she, in, as I was growing up, and even now, she hasn't stopped, like she's continuously trying to study, she's trying to get better. So my parents came, uh, my dad and my mom, they both came uh, to Dubai, like I think early 80s, um, and uh, they got married, you know, they met here, they got married. So Dubai is really like home. I mean, I was born and raised here, so this is home for uh, uh, all of us, like my family, entire family, actually. So we're very connected to this place, and very, and this is the magic of Dubai, right? It's such a blessed um, place, and it gives you kind of, um, you know, opportunities, and uh, gives you that kind of. I just feel this land is blessed. Uh, so I mean, I am kind of the. We kind of received that kind of. Uh, my parents came here to look for a better future. So my mom, uh, my dad had his own business here. He started his own business. He had a book store initially, starting with, and uh, then he moved to different ventures. And um, my mom uh, was a nurse. She started out being a nurse, and then she uh, became a clinical auditor. She because she continued studying, she uh, got her degree from uh, Wollongong University. And then um, she became a, qual a quality uh, auditor after that. And that's how, and, and even now, after, retire, after retiring, she's gone back to India. My parents have gone back to India. And she has, uh, she continued studying. And now she's, um, she practices acupressure. So, and she's now starting a small clinic of her own in, uh, back home in Kerala. So this is my, this is my mom. And, uh, you know, to me, to me and my sister, this is the kind of, uh, she's kind of instilled in us that we have to just keep pushing ourselves, keep, no, there's no time for rest. And uh, this is your life and you just keep trying and pushing yourself and achieving your dreams and keep pushing and go get it. Like that's, that's so she, my mom's my inspiration. And um, uh, my, my, um, I wouldn't be able to do all this, like, you know, travel between Dubai, Kerala, Cochin, uh, I mean, uh, Cochin, Ch uh, Chennai, and then back Dubai. All, I, I travel a lot now because now that I'm focusing on my uh, career, and my husband has been a, a immense support as well uh, during all this. And, uh, and my, fa my friends, you know, I, I just can't go beyond words like whenever, you know, there are times when we actually feel like, oh my God, anxious. Like when I was, when I had, to, when I took a decision to quit my job, it wasn't easy. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, am I doing the right thing? And that's when you have your friends to actually hold back and fall back on and then just say, like, no, no, that's, this is what you want to do. Sometimes you want to hear it from the people who are closest to you. And uh, they kind of pushed me through all that. And, um, and at work, even, you know, my, uh, my previous bosses, like uh, especially uh, Mr. Sudhir, <laughs> he was my last, um, uh, like, boss when I resigned. Honestly, he gave me the courage to put in my resignation. I had a heart-to-heart -to, -heart to him, and I was like, as a so I want to do this, but I'm not sure. And he was like, um, Divya, I know that this is what you want to do. Why do you not have the confidence in yourself? So he kind of like pumped that into me and said, do it. And without these people in my life, I don't think I would be able to, you know, 
So it's sometimes because you some um, you need that extra courage, you need that extra uh, push from people that you know so that you can go ahead and. So I'm just now all with all these people behind in my you know all my ammunition ready. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go back to India and let's see how it goes. So I'm just preparing myself for that. Uh, you know, to take, because I need to, and once I'm back in Kerala, it's just going to be work, 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 and um, so I've got all that ready, and I've, I've already signed up for um, uh, two movies that is coming up. I mean, it's still out of the pipeline, I can't really speak about it, but then, yeah, that's coming up. Uh, but, so I'm just preparing mentally that I'm going to be, because I honestly, Staying away from Dubai and staying away from home is not easy, and uh, uh, so that's the kind of <laughs> preparation I'm that I'm I'm just doing, and then yeah, because I know it's just going to be constant work. So this was my vacation period for a bit now, <laughs> and uh, it's going to be work. <laughs> so I'm just getting prepared for all that. Yeah.